Hi, welcome to our channel. I'm Dee. I'm Kelly. And we are Sisters, Sisters of Stitchcraft. Stitchcraft. God, we're getting good yes. at that. <laughs> Two vlogs on the trot. <laughs> so we're here to um to have a little chat about So Frugal 24. So this year we've decided, and Ruan and Sam have kindly allowed us to join a bit late the vlogging tour <laughs> for So Frugal 24. So we're just here to just tell you what our plans are tell you what the rules are and that's it really so yeah it's a really good thing to join in with um so for those of you that haven't heard of so frugal it's a concept from sam who is the frugalissima i think that's how it's pronounced and she offers she has a channel where she talks about um frugal sewing that's literally her thing she started off sewing when her she was pregnant with her son i believe she didn't have a lot of money at the time and so she just sewed as frugally as possible and that stayed with her. And um, Ruan, who is, of course, the, Yorkshire, the Yorkshire Sew Girl, who, who everybody's heard of. She's got like 10K followers and she's brilliant, is Ruan. So they started off four years ago and they started oh, wow. with... I didn't realise it was four years ago. Yeah, four okay. years ago they started um, Frugal Frocks, is what they called oh, it the first right, year. Okay. And you could just, you had to make a dress. So you had to make a frock and it had to be a free pattern. And then I think... Oh, this... side note, can we do that again, please? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just asking them. Go on. Oh, <laughs> yes. I thought you meant me no. to record it again. I was thinking, what did I say? <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to do Frugal Frogs. Frugal Frogs, really cat. Yeah. I'm just asking them if we can do it again. Can you do that in another month? <laughs> okay. um, yeah, later so on yeah, in the year. So it started off with Frugal Frogs and then they decided to open it up to more garments. So the rules are, so there's four rules. I'm going to refer to my notes to make sure we get them right. So rule number one, you have to choose a free pattern. Now this can't be free with a magazine or free only to you and your subscription. It has to be freely available for anybody. Um, so there's there are lots of places now where you can make a donation. So oh, what's that? Peppermint, peppermint magazine. Yeah, peppermint. Um, peppermint patterns. Um, you, they, you don't have to make a donation, but you can, and that is within the rules. If you choose to make a donation, that's fine but it has to have a free option for anybody who can't afford or doesn't want to make a donation. That's the rule. Um, you have to choose fabric from your stash or you need to be repurposing something that you no longer use. Um, I've, we talk about our plans later or you can use something that you've got, but you can't go out and buy fabric to make your garment. No, you can use stash, you can refashion. You can buy um. haberdashery items. So if you need a zip, or, or buttons, you're allowed to buy those, but the actual fabric that you're going to use has to be in your stash already. You already have to own it. In some way. In some way, or have been gifted it. Yep. And you have to have had that before the 1st of March. <laughs> I think you can, I think you can <clears throat> use things from charity shop as well. I'm not sure. Okay. Whether I, I think you can if you've purchased I it haven't, before. I haven't, but just in case. <laughs> yeah, I think you can if you've purchased it before yeah. the 1st of March. I thought you could because you were repurposing, sure. you were still repurposing the fabric. We will check that and we will let you know in the notes, <laughs> but I feel like that isn't in the rules, but it okay. might be. But as long as you've got it before the 1st of March, then you can for sure. I'm not sure if you're allowed to go and buy anything during mm -hmm. March to make, okay. but we'll check with Sam and um, Ruan. So the third rule is you've got to make the garment in the month of March. So you can't have made it in February and you can't make it in April, it'll be too late. So it has to be in March that you make the garment. And then the fourth rule is you have to reveal the garment on the 31st of March. Now the way you enter the competition, and there's a, over 40 prizes, lots of sponsors, amazing. some amazing prizes that Ruan and Sam have managed to get people to donate. And we'll add all the details of that afterwards. after. Yeah, keep tuned for that. We will stay tuned even for that. We will put that on at the end. D will. <laughs> <laughs> Do the editor. <laughs> so the way you enter the competition with this is that you have to post it on Instagram 
Now, it might be possible that you can email Sam or Ruan with your competition if you're not on Instagram with your entry. Oh, right, never know that. Possibly, but again, we'll check that out. But you post it on Instagram on the 31st of March. Each garment you need to, you want to enter, you need to post separately. You need to do hashtag SoFrugal24 and you need to tag Ruan, the Yorkshire Sew Girl, and Sam Frugalissima and they will see it and they will enter you into the competition. Um, but it's just a really good thing to do because you, you're you really thinking about sewing accessibility frugally. As well, accessibility yeah, and as well. Accessible so people that, for everybody. Yeah, people that can't afford lots of expensive fabric or can't afford to buy lots of patterns. Yeah. It's a way of getting this information out there to them, isn't it? So, and it's also inspiring you to actually use say, stuff. When so. you start looking, the amount of free patterns <clears throat> that are out there is pretty incredible. Tons. Yeah, absolutely. And definitely tons. tune into other people's vlogs as well because there's so many ideas out there. And I was actually, I thought I knew a lot of free patterns, but on researching for this vlog, I have to say I found so many more that I didn't even know existed. Yeah. So patterns and tutorials as well. Definitely. Yeah. Um, I mean, who is it that you use? Happy Camper? Yeah. She's, yeah they've she's got great. some lovely free patterns, haven't yeah. they? And I've, um, I've downloaded, is it Tassuti Fabrics? downloaded all their free patterns yeah. they've got about eight i think six or eight free patterns i was just like mm, i want that one i want that one i want that one so i've i've, I've literally downloaded mm. those and sent them off to be printed because i just couldn't be bothered with the whole a4 mm. thing after the to one of the things i had to do oh. anyway so yeah to ct fabrics i think it is oh, link mm. it down below rubbish this is the but also because you know there's so many tutorials that like, you don't have to use a pattern no, one of um, the items I've done is is a free tutorial, which is really simple. It's, it's about eight minutes long, and it's great. I'm making mm -hmm. three dresses that are all from um, one tutorial on YouTube. It's literally self drafted dresses, and that is Rosary Apparel on YouTube, um, and she's got quite a few um, YouTube videos or vlogs of how to make the, the mm -hmm. dresses that she's got in her wardrobe and stunning her clothes are absolutely stunning so yeah so i'm doing that hopefully i will be doing that whether i get it done in time for the 31st of march or not is another matter as you'll see in a minute we have quite a lot of plans <laughs> I, I think you have more than me to be fair i've got 12 mm. garments cut out mm. <laughs> just so off so frugal it's never gonna happen it might but it will happen eventually yeah. even if it's not for so frugal because True. again it's just really good. It's a good thing to use in your practice. I mean, you yeah. especially are very sustainable in your sewing. You, you, you do I try. That. I do try, yeah. And we do try to 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 use our scraps and things like that as well. Um, but yeah, anyway. So I digress, and I'm muffling. So those are the four rules. It's simple rules. If you want to post a work in progress, then it is hashtag so frugal twenty four whip w i p. Um, so that then it's not confusing because there's so many entries um, and so many tags mm. that it's too much for Sam and, and Ruan to, to to go through, really. So yeah. you must put the whip on the end. Do not um, for just works hashtag in progress. so frugal 24 until the 31st. Until the 31st. That's the only day that you use mm. that hashtag. Um, and then it makes it easier for them to just get everybody and enter everybody. But remember, every garment, a separate entry on Instagram. So, so yeah, so we think this is a fantastic idea for sustainability, um, making to make something from either recycling your fabrics, using your stash, um, using gifted fabrics as well. So yep. you've used a couple of gifted Well, fabrics. I used a gifted fabric from you, Kelly, that you gave me a year ago. Was it that long ago? Yeah, because wow. it was when you first started, yeah. Wow. So yeah, one of my items is going to be with that. But again, the reveal will be on the 31st. We'll tell you all about that. <laughs> <laughs> and just using free patterns like you say there's yeah. so many free patterns out there i mean obviously there's mood society is it mood yep. society that's another yep. one as well as the peppermint magazine um but e even regardless of those if you mm. just search whatever you're looking for so say you're looking for a frock a free frock free dress patterns and there'd be hundreds hundreds of them mm. and something that will suit everybody and so I think it's a great idea. I think why not? I've not not really got many free patterns other than ones you've pointed me in the direction of probably like mm. so for the um bucket hat. Oh yeah. 
think that was um, no, the, oh, no there not was the one I sent you. That, wasn't there? But there is one um, with Mason. Mason uh, Fouve. Yeah, is that how you pronounce it? We're not French, but that's how we're going <laughs> with that. They do a free <laughs> bucket hat, which I found. Oh after. right, okay. Yeah. Um, the other place Sorry. where there's a lot of free, well, not a lot, but some free patterns is Waves and Wild. Yes, that I think they do one every week. Do they? Mm. I do not know that. But it's not always free. They're doing no, a special but, one, but, but it is free to everybody. <clears throat> so I think every Friday they release a pattern that's free. I'm not 100% sure, okay. but I'm sure it's something like that. So keep an eye on that. But definitely. also they do have some that are mm. always free. So yeah. like the lightning leggings, the lunar t-shirt, they're always free. And they've, oh, they've got... Yeah. Mm. I don't know things like crowns, Christmas crowns, and things oh, like I've that. And there's patterns I for that. And for my Christmas so cards. waves and wild are great. Yeah. I've got quite a few of their free patterns. Mm. So I'll be like, mm, free patterns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm a cheat scare. I have also bought some of their patterns, which we'll discuss in another vlog. Um, anything else that we need to say? Uh, I don't think so. Lots of amazing prizes. And so, without further yeah. ado, let's show you what our plans are. <laughs> Hello, I've just come on to tell you about my plans for um, So Frugal 2024, So, so Frugal 24. I'm very excited to take part in that this year, very excited to be part of the, the um, vloggers tour. Very kind of Sam and Ruan to let us on last minute. Um, we're obviously new to this game so we didn't realise uh, about that the tour was happening so yeah they kindly let us join on at the end which is really sweet of them so my plans are to make the free patterns from waves and wild so two patterns from them the lightning leggings um for children so it's newborn mm, prem i think they do i oh, know the lightning leggings uh newborn to age 12 they're unisex and they come in a variety of different um types of leggings so you can have some with a calf you can have a relaxed fit a normal fit uh, i think probably shorts or longer length um so there's quite a lot of options there and it's a free pattern um that I, I think there was something about um they there's a there's um, a pattern for babies with cloth nappies a pattern for babies with normal disposable nappies if you like um so yes yeah, so there's so many options with it and it's a free pattern what's not to love up to age 12 I think that's just I think that's really amazing of them to do that for free um, and the other thing is the other pattern is the lunar t-shirt which is also free and that's from premature babies or small babies to age four and again waves and wild now my plan is to use this ruined top to make my granddaughter um, she's only just nearly four months old so I'm going to make her the t-shirt and the leggings matching. Now my daughter loves an animal print and it's very similar to an animal print and um, she loves and she looks really good in dark colours, my granddaughter. So hopefully that will work and they'll love those and she'll get to wear them. Um, so that's the first one. The next one I'm going to do is I'm going to make the Billy Blanket and thank you Teresa from Lost My Thread. Um, who posted about this in a vlog uh, a couple, maybe three weeks ago. I'm trying to think when I watched it. But it's basically going to be like a giant hoodie, <laughs> if you like. And I'm making it out of the rest of the duvet cover that I used for this. I've got plenty here. So I've got, oh gosh, it's all come on rolled. So I've got this bit and then I've got another bit as well. So I'm hoping that's enough fabric to make my husband. <laughs> Lots of selfless sewing and this frugal malarkey um the billy blanket and that's by the d dibby club d-i-b-y club um it's do it better yourself and it's a free pattern and it's a unisex pattern and it goes from extra small to extra large so i'm going to try and make an extra large because i think with anything for me it's bigger the better <laughs> especially with something like that which is a blanket that you're going to wear just because it's a bit chilly and you want to get cozy so i'm going to make it as big as i can and as long as I can for him, <laughs> we will see. Um, and then the third thing that I want to make is, bear with, out of this, can you see it? <laughs> so it's like almost like a, an abstract watercolour flower in purples, hues of purple. 
and um, I've had that duvet cover for nine years. It was bought for me as a housewarming gift from a dear friend who's no longer with us. Um, of Jenny upstairs, Jenny from upstairs, bless her, she bought that for me. Um, it was only from Asda, you know, it wasn't terribly expensive, but I love it. I've used it a lot <laughs> and unfor not unfortunately, but we now have a super king size bed and at the time I only had a king size bed, so it doesn't fit the bed anymore. So I am going to south draft a summer frock and I'm going to use, I think it's Rosary Apparel. She is a lovely YouTuber. She is Australian, I think. And she's got a video on how to self draft and it's a tutorial on how to make this beautiful dress. So I'm going to use that and her information to self draft a dress. It's not my first self drafted dress. I made one last year, a couple of months into my sewing journey out of a pair of curtains. Um, it's beautiful, but the curtain fabric is a little bit heavy really for what I did. I did a lot of sharing. I love a bit of sharing. Um, so, so I'm hoping that it won't be too difficult to make for me because I did a lot of gathering of tears and everything in that dress as well. Um, attaching the sleeves is something I haven't done with my self-drafted dresses. <clears throat> Excuse me, but she shows a very clever way of doing it. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Um, so that's obviously free. And as it's self-drafted, you can pretty much make it in any size you want as well. I don't see any reason why it can't go from extra small or petite to extra, extra, extra large. And it's any reason if you're making it yourself and drafting it yourself, it should be fine. Excuse me one moment. <coughs> Good Lord, I do apologise for that. Um, so I'm really busy throughout March, so I don't know if I would get them all done. I don't know if... If I will have time for any more, but I do have one other plan just in case. And I've got, bear with me, sorry, I keep disappearing. I've got another, there's a theme. I have another duvet <laughs> on a cover, and it's a white one. And the only time this has ever been used, and can you see it? It's like a giant, I don't know if you can see it, like a giant seersucker. Anyway, if you can't see it, it's white. Um, and it's only ever been used to cover up my wedding dress. So when I had the alterations made, um, she said to bring a duvet cover to cover it up with. And I forgot to take one with me. So we nipped to Asda on the way, like you do, and um, just bought a duvet cover that I thought I might use again. But obviously this is, ki excuse me, this is king size. I've got hiccups. This is king size. And again, we've got a super king size bed. So it's only ever been used for that one trip. And I've kept it because it's quite a nice duvet cover. This is way before, way, this is a good year and a half before I started, um, a good year before I started sewing. So it never occurred to me to make anything with it as far as sewing is concerned. But now we're doing the Sew Frugal, I think I'm, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> television just started playing. Um, so yes, so my plan is to um, to dye it, to dye it olive green and to, again, make another self-drafted maxi dress, probably maxi dress. Uh, I thought I'd use the um, the front side that's kind of like a giant seersucker for the skirt and the sleeves and then the back for the shirt bodice is my plan. However, what I don't know is if you're allowed to buy dye for clothes and dye things as I don't know whether that's in the rules I don't know if it's allowed I will check with Sam and Ruan um, and if it's allowed then that's another one that's on my list and even if I don't do it for so frugal it's definitely on my plans for um before summer <laughs> for the nicer warmer weather I love a bit of green I was thinking about doing it bright yellow um but I probably wouldn't wear that, whereas I would wear it if it was green. So I thought about purple, but as I'm making the other one purples, I'm going to go with green, which is purple's my favourite colour. Green's pretty much my second favourite colour. So, and I do love a maxi dress. That's my plans. So yeah, that's it. So check out those free patterns if you want to. Um, definitely, definitely have a go if you're going to join us if you've got any ideas of what you would like to do for so frugal if you're going to join in so frugal 24 um 
I hope you join us. There's a lot of prizes, as you will already have heard. I'm not going to keep on because I'm just going to repeat everything that we've just said in the introduction. So anyway, I wish you the best. Happy sewing. Hi. So I've come on to show you my sew frugal plans um, and what I'm planning on doing for um, for the tour. Uh, again, thank you to Sam and Moran for letting us do this. We are novices and we really appreciate that um, the support that you've given us and letting us join last minute when we discovered what it was all about. And also, thank you for answering the millions of questions that I have put to Sam because she has been amazing because I was really unsure what it was all about, sort of what the rules and regs were and she's been really, really helpful. So thank you so, so much for that. Um, joined today by Hilda, actually. <laughs> Kelly seems to have turned into Hilda, so I'm um, not sure how long she'll be there for. Probably when I start moving fabrics around, she'll get a bit scared and run off, but hey-ho. So, what are my plans? So, first of all, before we start, I thought I would wear something sort of frugal appropriate. Um, and I'm wearing a self-drafted top that I made, which was when I first started sewing. This was from a tutorial on... Um, on YouTube because I couldn't follow patterns at that point. So I actually made it too small. So what I did myself was I added in some triangular patterns here, um, tri triangular panels here, which um, gave it a bit more width. And actually I quite like the shape of it. it the way it comes out is quite nice. It's quite flattering. Um, and you probably can't see, but they're a pair of jeans, which I've also, um, I'll put a picture up. I've also bought, um, done some stuff with myself. They were a pair of jeans that I bought ready to wear, didn't like, never really wore them, but I've made them into like flares and I've added some fabric with little foxes on and stuff. So, um, so they're quite, quite cool. So I'll put a picture up because you can't really see them here, but um, hey ho. So that's what I'm wearing today. So my plans for So Frugal, uh, I've got a few things going on. I'm not sure whether I'll get them all done, fingers crossed, hopefully I will. So first one is um, with a fabric which was gifted to me by Kelly. I think she was gifted it by somebody else, I can't remember, but she said it was more me than her. So she gave it to me about a year ago and I absolutely love it. And I've always wanted to make a bubble skirt with it. Never got round to it. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. So this is the fabric, um, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a chintz fabric. So it might be good for a bubble skirt with these little flowers on it. It's got some velvety flowers and then these little silver ones as well. I'm not sure what I'm going to use for lining. I have some black satin in a skirt, which is too big for me now that I've made when I first started sewing. Uh, I might use that. I might unpick that and use that, but I'm going to have a look through my stash and see. Um, but yeah, not sure. There's not, I don't think there's enough use this, this, this to use for both lining and for the skirt. The pattern I'm going to use is from the Happiest Camper website. Um, it's a free pattern and tutorial. I've used a lot of her stuff. She was actually, when I first started sewing, it was her tutorial that got me going. I did a, a tote bag that was on her website that I found. The, I think it was the second day I'd set my machine up um, and really loved it. Still use that tote bag now, absolutely love it. So I've always been a big fan of her website and all her patterns and tutorials and they are all free so it's really amazing to um, to have that resource available so I'm going to do that and to go with that because I'm going on a bit of a theme of outfits so to go with that I'm going to make the Lego Largo still don't know how you pronounce it somebody please tell me um tank tank from itch to stitch which you will have seen previously me wearing um either on Instagram or in my, one of my YouTubes. Again, free pattern, absolutely fantastic. How versatile is this? Great for using up scraps. And I have, remember this? <laughs> this is the leftovers from my, um, my Christmas dress. I'm hoping to be able to throw enough of it together. Might need a bit of jiggery pokery, <laughs> but I think there's enough there to just about make a tank which will go really nicely with this because of the silver flowers. So that's my first outfit I'm planning on making. The other one I'm planning on making next is the, um, the same one as Kelly. So we both decided to do the, the Billy wearable blanket, which is the free Digby Club um, pattern. So that's do it yourself, uh, do it better yourself club. Again, on, um, on the website, free. Um, pattern so absolutely brilliant um it's a blanket like a wearable blanket so what i'm doing is i'm using one maybe two of these blankets that we've had in the cupboard for years and don't really use anymore occasionally they get used outside in the 
in the in the summer sort of evenings when it gets cooler but to be honest we've got so many so I've decided to make one of these um <laughs> basically because it would be really nice to stay cozy when I'm working but now I've got my new job I won't be working from home hopefully I won't need them but still with them in the cold evenings it'd be nice to wrap up so um, I'm not going to line it because I do struggle with, um, because of my hormones, I do struggle with getting hot quite easily. So I'm not going to line it. I'm just going to do the unlined version, which hopefully will mean it's not going to take too long. And also we need less fabric, but I don't think there's quite enough for one. So I'll do a bit of colour blocking maybe. That might work well. Maybe the sleeves and the, the thing are different colour. Maybe the sleeves and the hood could match. That would be good, wouldn't it? So yeah, so again, that's so that's that one. And Kelly's doing that one as well. So that's quite exciting to see how both of ours turn out. Although I don't think she's doing it for her. She's doing it for Richie, her husband. So I, unlike Kelly, am sewing everything for myself. I believe Kelly is sewing lots for other people. She's doing a very selfless sewing, so frugal. I'm sewing for me. <laughs> and I'm sorry about that, but I don't care. <laughs> um, so the final one I have planned at the moment, which is I'm hoping going to grow through the whole process is a neck curtain now this neck curtain was in the spare room when we moved into our house um but i'm not really a fan of neck curtains so um we took it down it's been in the cupboard ever since thinking i'll do something with it or i'll put it somewhere use a divider or something like that wasn't really sure what to do with it so um what i have decided is um and i have said this before i never got around to it so it's a great opportunity to do it for the so frugal tour is um i'm gonna make it into some sort of duster or shawl a duster was my original thoughts but i'm now thinking i have seen if anybody's been on the mood fabrics mood society website tons of free patterns on there absolutely tons of them um and they've got a shawl on there which is called the aralia shawl which is really nice i really really like it so i'm thinking of making that with it um it is because it's a shawl it's sleeveless so i don't know whether to go down the dust line with some flowy sleeves but i think i'll see how much i've got left when i've looked at the panels and i may add some sleeves into it I'm not sure but definitely thinking of doing that and then to go with that i want to do because i want to make a whole outfit so i'm going down the sort of stevie nicks daisy six and the uh, daisy jones and the six route which is really my vibe um i'm thinking of doing another largo tank um together with a pair of shorts but haven't decided on shorts there are quite a few um shorts patterns out there that are free and tutorials and stuff like that so haven't decided which ones yet so any suggestions do let us know i'll be um really grateful for anything you think would work um so yeah so do a tank and uh shorts again not sure what fabric i'll be using it'll probably be from my stash because i've got quite a lot of fabrics that do need using up so i'll probably hit my stash and just see if i can find something from there um to do that but we will that will be a surprise i guess <laughs> um but yeah so planning on doing that i can see it with a pair of cowboy boots looking pretty cool so yeah so that's my plan so i've got some gifted fabrics i've got some stuff from the airing cupboard and i'm going to use up some of my stash as well so i think that's going to be really good it's going to really hit all the criteria that we are um we are supposed to be using for this um and i can't wait to get it all, get it all made and get on the catwalk to show you so <laughs> anyway thanks for listening and uh happy sewing how else we're living in the wild, wild west? Don't break the rules. God's keeping score. You don't want to fail that test. Don't break the rules. You thumb your nose right up the last.